Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back. My name is Katie. Um, this is my channel called Broadway and Crochet where I talk about Broadway and crochet. Um, mostly crochet, but a little bit of Broadway as well. Um, yeah, so it's been a while since I've been here. I think it's been about a month since I um, filmed and put up a video and it's just been really, really busy here, you know, with work and the kids in school and everything, and I just haven't had a chance to record. Um, I also haven't been feeling super inspired creatively, I guess, with my crochet. Um, I've been crocheting. I've been working on um, my granny ripple blanket, which I showed you in progress last time, and that's done. Um, I don't have it with me right now, but I can put some pictures in. I posted it on Instagram. Um, so yeah, I am Stitch Crafty Cat on Instagram. I'll put that down below. Um, so I might be a little rusty here, <laughs> but I want to show you my, my shirt that I have on here. If you can see it, it says introverted, but willing to discuss Stare and Rogers. So besides Broadway, I also love classic Hollywood, old Hollywood movies. I love dancing. Um, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers are some of my favorites. And I got this shirt from um, one of my favorite non-crochet designers, Kate Gabrielle. I'll put links to her shops down below. She is a really amazing artist. She has drawings of old Hollywood stars and different vintage inspired designs that you can have printed on various things. Um, I have a couple of travel mugs from her that I used to use when I was commuting every day. Um, I got this sweatshirt from her. I got a Doris Day um, t-shirt for my mom. Um, so I'm not like affiliated or anything. I don't know her personally. I just really like her work and um, I kind of want to support these small independent businesses this holiday season as much as I can because I know a lot of them are struggling with you know the pandemic and everything that's going on so if you're into old Hollywood or there's someone in your on your gift list who is into that kind of thing you should check out her stores um <clears throat> okay so in terms of crochet I was finally inspired by some pictures that excuse me that Kristen Chenoweth had posted on her Instagram. Um, so it's, it's sort of Broadway inspired in as much as Kristen Chenoweth is, you know, originally and in my mind, a Broadway star, but the images are from the new TV show she's hosting Candyland, which I haven't actually watched <laughs> because I don't have a whole lot of time to watch television, but I gather from the ads that it is, um, some kind of baking challenge show. So sort of like Great British Bake Off, but with pastries and things like that. Um, and I could be totally wrong. And if I am, I'll put a little bar under here that, that tells you what it's actually about. <laughs> but um, when the show was being promoted, she was posting a lot of pictures and they were really bright and really cheerful. And she had on this um, pink dress and the background looked like cotton candy and um, Candyland the game, if you're familiar with that game. And that just got me really inspired because it's been so rainy and dreary and just sort of depressing around here. And I wanted to make something that was bright and cheery and fun. And so I made a hat and a cowl set. This is the hat and it's kind of blowing out a little bit. Um, but it's, there we go. It's this polyester, really super soft. It's not quite a velvety yarn, but it's similar to that. It's more like an eyelash kind of fluffy yarn with little flecks in it. And it reminded me of um, a cupcake with sprinkles on it and then I paired it with this just plain old acrylic three weight yarn um, and with these little baubles and I just love it um, and there's a cowl that matches I actually made the cowl first and then I did the hat um, so let me see if I can put this on Okay, 
So this is how the cowl is. And it's super warm and super fluffy. And I love it. And then I'll put the hat on. There we go. And it's just, it makes me happy because it's so pink and bright and fun. Um, and so this yarn that I use, the, the hot pink is, we love this yarn from Hobie, but you know, you could use any three weight acrylic yarn or any fiber really that you wanted to. And then this yarn is from Ice and it's called Puffy Pom Pom. <laughs> which is very much the way it feels. It feels like a puffy pom-pom. Um, it's it's like a blanket yarn, I guess you would call it, 100% polyester. Um, and it's a five weight. And normally I wouldn't mix um, different weights or thicknesses of yarn like this, but I've been watching Limon Crochets and he's been doing this series where he takes a fingering weight hand-dyed yarn and mixes it with fisherman's wool which is I think a weight five um it might be a four but it but it's a much thicker and put them together and making these beautiful cowls and things like that and so that kind of inspired me as well um this is a pattern that I just kind of made up as I went along um I know that these blanket yarns a lot of people don't like working with them because they're so thick and you can't really see your stitches but the texture is amazing and the drape on it is amazing I used I think I used a j-hook 5.5 millimeter for the whole for the whole thing everything um and then this yarn with this yarn I used just a v-stitch so you're stitching into the spaces you don't really have to know where your stitches are and then here I used some single crochet, some half double, and then the bobbles. Um, and same thing up here. This part is just V stitches. And I just did a regular, um, you know, circle hat pattern, but using V stitches. So I started with six V stitches in the ring, and then I did two V stitches in each V, in the space of each V. Um, and then I went like that until it got to be the size that I wanted. And then I did a couple of just v, v stitches all the way around. And then I added on here and, um, did, you know, rows of single crochet and rows of bobbles. And then the brim is just single crochets. I was originally going to put some of this on the brim, but then when I tried it on, I liked it just kind of like this. Um, so I don't know, I might still add add some of this or try it just to see what it looks like but I really like it just like this um, this is my favorite style of hat so so this is my Kristen Chenoweth Candy Lane inspired hat and cowl set um, I didn't really I don't have a written up pattern I don't know if I'm going to write it up but I did on my Ravelry page put notes as to what I did so it's not a pattern per se um, but if you are sort of a more experienced crocheter, I think you'll probably be able to figure out what I did and, and replicate it if you, if you wanted to. Um, and I'm Stitch Crafty Cat also on Ravelry. So, so yeah, that is that. Um, classes are ending soon, for me at least. Um, this semester, this coming week is, um, so the last week, the week after Thanksgiving, Right now is the day after Thanksgiving that I'm recording. So next week is the last week of classes for my university. Um, and then my kids, of course, have school for another couple of weeks after that. So I was thinking about maybe trying to do Vlogmas, but I'm not sure if I can get on and make a video every single day. Um, but hopefully I will come back on here before it's been a month. <laughs> <laughs> so um thank you all so much for watching um it's great to see you again sort of virtually through the magic of the internet um and yeah just you know leave me a comment about um what you're doing for thanksgiving or what you're working on or um just say hi and i will see you next time bye mm -hmm.